best settings to record Valorant gameplay in Streamlabs. Having the best settings for recording Valorant in Streamlabs ensures high quality gameplay footage for viewers. Now if you're going to do that then this is the best way in order for you to do so. Go ahead and click your settings in your Streamlabs desktop. From here we're going to go ahead and click the output and then we're going to click recording. Now in the recording we're going to go ahead and make some fewer changes in here. So recording format make sure that you have chosen mp4 so this is going to give us a format that is widely acceptable. And then for the audio track, depending on how many audios you're going to use, you can set this one to up to three, say for example. But in my case, for my audio, I only have one for desktop and then for the microphone. If you want to add like, say for example, like uh, a track here, you can definitely do that for like music, uh, say for example. Now you can go back here and then you can go ahead and click this one here. Now for this one, I'm going to go ahead and choose NVIDIA NVENC. So this is for my encoder. And then for the rate control, make sure that it is CBR. For the bit rate, I like to put it at 6000. But if you think that your PC is more than capable, you can go ahead and set this to 8000. That is definitely going to give you a maximum quality. Now for the preset, go ahead and change this to max quality. Uh, profile, it's high. And then we're not going to change anymore in here. Now another thing that we are going to do is for the video, go ahead and click this one here. Now for the base or canvas resolution, this is going to be your PC or your native resolution. So go ahead and choose 1920 by 1080p. For the output resolution, go ahead and click this one and change this to 1080p as well. Now downscale filter is not necessary so you can just leave it at that. Um, if there is going to be changes though you can also set this one to Lanxus or sharpen scaling. Now common FPS values is what we are going to use for the FPS type and then for the FPS we're going to change this one to 60. There you go. So now we have 60 frames per second and that is going to give us an absolutely amazing and fluid like movement. So go ahead and click done once you're done in here and then you can go ahead and start recording your gameplay. So yeah, congratulations everybody. That is the best settings in order for you to record Valorant gameplay in Streamlabs. Anyway, if you're interested in kicking off your streaming career with Streamlabs, click the link in the description box in order to save yourself up to $20 of discount. And as always, please check our channel for detailed Streamlabs tutorial. We have various levels of tutorials from the most basic ones such as how to set it up, all the way to things like using Streamlabs to stream to TikTok, fixing black screen, and so many others. And as always, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave this video a like if it helps you out.